What's up, YouTube? Jonathan here. Uh, doing a VR to flag 1122 or 2. Anyways, his theory on sub contest. But. I'm also going to do a tobacco review. Smoking my Meerschaum Gentleman Bent. And the tobacco I'm going to review is CAO Cherry Bomb. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but first, I'm going to do the VR. He wanted us to do a review about a movie we've seen while smoking. Um, the movie that I'm going to do a review on is Van Wilder, Freshman Year. It's available on Netflix and you can probably find it on Hulu and any other site online. But, um, <clears throat> it's a National Lampoon movie, I do believe. And I'm a fan of Van Wilder, the original. But, this one takes place at his high school graduation. Um, and basically, he set off to go to Amsterdam and, well, you know, National Lampoon style. But, um, he wants to go work for his dad right off the bat, and his dad's like, no, every Van Walder has gone to so and so college, what's well, Coolidge in this case. Well, so basically, he gets back after his summer vacation. We go to Amsterdam. He um, pretty much meets his dad's rival, um, who's a sergeant or lieutenant. In the army, quote unquote, and um, he's a dean of the college now. Basically, trying to make his life hell because his dad supposedly made his life hell with him trying saying that his dad thought he owned the school because his family's name was on a building. Um. And the gist of the movie is, he goes out, Van goes after a guy's girlfriend, kind of, who happens to be dating the leader of an uh, ROTC um, squad. So pranks are pulled back and forth. One of my favorite was um, the camouflage. Only because he put um, dog shit in the paint and it got smeared on their faces but you see him through his freshman year where he gets his dog how he gets his room um of course this is just the movie he gets the girl does his partying everything like that um I'm not sure what all to say about the movie. Just because. Well, isn't Van Wilder and National Lampoon and 
most of you have probably seen the National Lampoon movie, so you don't already know what's basically the plot. But it's a good movie. I mean, I would recommend it only because I kind of like the college movies. Going from like American Pie to a couple others, like Revenge of the Nerds is one of my favorites. But I like the Man Wilder series because it's just wacky and the things that they do and things you can't really get away with in school. But it also leaves it open for a lot more things, how they end in the movie. And I'm not going to give it away because if you guys ever go see the movie, well, it's just worth it. And worst case scenario, you only spend like an hour and 30 minutes of your life if you don't like it. But I'm also going to do a tobacco review. Like I said, I'm smoking a cherry bomb from CAO. First opening of the container, you can really, really smell the cherry. And like I said earlier, I'm more like the smell of it. Like um, cherry bonbon or cherry from Monty's. Um, but b Cherry Bomb Ball is Peter Stoker V's. Um, I like the smell. Smoking it. You get the cherry flavor. As is burning and everything. It's not bad. But to get it in my top 10, I have to smoke a couple times to verify that I do like it. But I can already tell you if it's smoking or smells that good, it's pleasant uh, aftertaste. It would be in my top 10, not in my top 5. I'm very picky when it comes to my top five because <coughs> it's got to compete with uh, Frogmore and Cellar. Monty's uh, Cherry and Peter Stokey's Cherry Bon Bon and uh, the Cool Vanilla Ice. But it's probably my number six. Overall, it's actually pretty enjoyable. Would I recommend it to friends? Yeah. Give them samples and whatnot. Like I said, it is plentiful and smoke. Um, I just grabbed this one and said my 320 because of that. Oops. One to get it out of break. My other seven now is more for a lot of Kias. I 
I do enjoy. It's my fifth smoke. I haven't cleaned it out of the. Uh, ran a uh, pipe filter uh, cleaner out of here. I did take. Pardon me. I did take the filter out. Go and see how long it lasts. Um, like a video, a, rust, a rustic cob did um he didn't clean it he's smoked it a couple like hundred and some odd times i don't know if he knows where the pipe is because i haven't seen any updates but it is building a cake and charring nicely <clears throat> i draw one way Go to uh, pipes. When I want to try a new blend, or just want to smoke something and give my 320 a rest. Um, but getting back to the tobacco. Still pretty pleasant. I haven't been smoking it long. I think we're going to start doing like a rating system up between one and five. One being not trying this again. Hell no. Uh, five. Actually, no. I'll go one to ten. One being like I said, hell no. I'm not going to smoke this again. Ten being hell yeah. I'm going to order this again. For the first smoke, I'm going to probably give it probably a five. Because it does have competition with Monty's Cherry, what I give probably an eight, nine. And um, Peter Stokeby's Cherry Bomb Bomb, when I give it probably seven, eight. Um. That's only because I have things to compare this to. My frog morning on the cell, I give it more of a nine. <laughs> um, I'm gonna need to relight really like this, but I just hit 13 minutes. Um, in the description below, I will give my final remarks about uh, the CAO cherry bomb um and more about um Ben Wilder uh freshman year like the who the director was the star cast and everything like that but anyways I hope you guys are having a great day and have a great memorial weekend and be safe bye